hey people you're welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is Unoma. so in today's video we are going to be learning how to make this ball and carol ball dress you can see here so yes we're going to be using this ankara fabric for our tutorial so these are the measurements we're going to be needing for this tutorial shoulder 10.5 inches bust 24 inches waist 24 inches half length 11 inches and the gown length 29 inches so those are the measurements these are the measurements we are going to be need to using for our tutorial for this dress as you can see right here on the screen so now we folded our fabric into two okay we are going to be using the largest part of our bodies which is the bust and the waist respectively this is um a child's address so most most of the time their waist and bust are always the same okay so now the bust or the waist is 24 inches so we're going to be folding our tape into four to determine our waist or bust measurement as the waist divided by four or the bust divided by four so that is the measurement you're going to be using folding our fabric then you add two inches for your sewing allowance or you can use 1.5 inches but for me here in this video i'm using two inches so it will give me a total of eight inches so i'm just going to be rolling a starting point there that's where my measurement is going to be starting from. Shoulder measurement is 10.5 inches. I'm going to be dividing my shoulder measurement into two. Shoulder measurement, please, should be divided into two, okay? So 10.5 divided by two is going to give me 5.25 because this dress is going to be somehow a sh uh, an off shoulder stroke cold shoulder dress so i'm going to be using the actual shoulder measurement i'm not going to be adding extra allowance to it <coughs> so now i'm just coming in with 2.5 inches there and 1.1 inches down there at the shoulder for my shoulder slope i'm going to go up by half an inch for my shoulder joining please do not forget this half an inch it's very important for joining the shoulders together so that's what i just ruled now so from that point i'm going to be coming down by five inches for my armhole five inches like so so i'm going to be coming taking that 5.25 and i took out my shoulder just to have a straight line okay i love doing this just to have a straight line that will guide me then i'll come up by one one inch to curve my shoulder okay in case you do not have a an armhole curve you can just do this i'm going to be locating the midpoint which is 2.5 inches for the front i'm going to be coming in by half an inch at that mean at that midpoint there i'm going to be connecting it like so and connecting it back to the shoulder So from that armhole, so now I'm actually taking my half length measurement. My half length is actually 11 inches, but I'm going to be adding 1 inches for my joining as the sewing allowance to join the, body, the upper bodies to the down. 
does what I just marked there. I just want to rule out my actual half length which is 11 inches so you can see the one inch for my sewing allowance there so now from that armhole point as my chest line as well i'm going to measure my bust point divided my bust measurement as 24 inches divided by four which gave me six inches Then I added two inches for my sewing allowance there. Okay, 24 inches divided by four, that's six plus two inches. So I connected the waist to the bust. Then at that waist point, I always like coming in by one inch. I do not like leaving my upper body straight, okay? So I came in by cocking up what by one inch. Or you can come up by three quarter of an inch. Then I'm going to cut out, slant it that way, then cut it out that way. So I'm cutting out from the neck first to the shoulder. My shoulder slope. So when I cut out, you actually see properly what I have done so far. Yeah, so that's the front. So I'm going to fold my fabric again into two. I'm going to be using the front to cut out the back. I'm going to be folding in such a manner that I'll be having one inch for my zipper at that back, okay? I need one inch at that point for my zipper allowance. One inch there. Or you can as well just roll it out, okay? So that that line you rolled will be a guide for you to place your front bodies on. So I just want to roll one inch. My ruler is actually an inch, so I just use my ruler to roll that's one inch so it will be a guide for me to place my front bodies on that line like so so i'm just going to be cutting out the rest the same way Oh, for my back, you know I removed half an inch at the midpoint of my armhole, so I'm just replacing it there for the back, then joining it to the shoulder and the armhole like so. You can see what I'm doing. So the back, I've replaced that half an inch that I took out from the front. I replaced it at the back because the back shouldn't have that, please. Just going to cut it out so you know I slanted that point there at the front but for the back right now I'm just going to remove that same one inch or three quarter of an inch which you removed from that side I'm going to be removing it at the middle of the back as well then from that point I'm going to slant it to meet I'm going to rule a straight line to meet that point okay so i want the back to be straight to be equal and most of the time our back body is always shorter okay our back half length is always shorter so that's why i removed this one inch from that point so that our back will not be dropping so low okay so also for the back 
from that zipper area we have to come in by half an inch okay that we're coming in by half an inch to help us reduce avoid um that swell you always have at the back that you zip your clothes and you're still having that very funny um bump or swelling at the back so when you do this it helps eliminate that from your back you can see how slanted it is just slanted to the upper part of the bodice so now i've done that i'm going to be imputing my neck measurements okay so i'm still going to be using this 2.5 inches for my neck width and three inches for my front neck depth just connecting like so this is for my front neck depth and i'm using one inches for my back neck depth but the width remains the same as the front so i'll be i'll be cutting out the back first So once I'm done cutting out the back, I'll just remove the back from the front, then cut out the front. Just like so. So now, yes, I have my back and my front bodies ready. So now I'm about to cut out the down part of the dress. As you can see, I folded my fabric into two. Well, right now, what I'm trying to do now is I want to calculate for my um, waist. Okay, so now my waist is 24 inches. I want it to be full, so I did 24 inches times 3, which will give me 72 inches. So that is what I'm going to be using for my, for my waist, as in... That's what I'm going to be using to cut out the fabric. I'm going to be gathering at the waist area. So now this fabric is on fold already. So now we're about to determine the length of the, the down part. You know the half length is 11 inches and the full length is 29 inches so we're going to be subtracting 11 from 29 inches which will give us 18 inches or you can simply just then we'll add 2 inches to it for a sewing for folding allowance for hemming it which will give us 20 inches so you, or you can just simply take your tape remove your 11 inches like you can see me doing I removed 11 inches so I place my tape starting from 11 inches and i actually took my 29 inches okay then added my two inches for hemming allowance that's what i just did there so i just took my tape put it at that point that savage point there that line there at 11 inches so that 11 inches i'm removing the half length okay and just taking my 29 inches so that is what i've just cut out here guys so when you measure it, you measure it by placing your tape on 11 inches, you'll get your measurement, okay? Your it, You'll get your 29 inches plus 2 inches. And also when you take it this way, you'll get 20 inches, which we did. That's 29 when we did our subtraction, okay? So when you open it up, you get total length will be 72 inches, which I want to use for the gathers. So that's what I'm going to be using for the gathers. So right now I want to cut the lining for the down part. So I do not want my lining to be straight, okay? You know my gathers is just straight. I did it straight that will just gather it. But I actually want my lining to be in the form of a half circle. Okay, so that's what I I want for my lining so to determine that 
my waist is 24 inches so i'm going to be adding two inches for zip as in one inch of both sides that's for the zip plus four for plus two rather that's two plus two give me four so 24 plus four will give me so i'm just going to be dividing that by 3.14 which will give me my radius of um i think 8.9 but I'm going to be approximating it to 9 inches so my radius will be 9 inches so I folded my fabric into 4 then I folded it again into 2 then I folded it again diagonally like you can see so from that sharp point I'm just going to be measuring my radius which is 9 inches I'm using 9 inches for my radius so from that pointy edge there I'm going to be coming down by 9 inches and I'm going to be taking it around like so I'm going to be taking the 9 inches round So my um my main fabric as in the Ankara is um, 20 inches in total but I need this lining to be a bit shorter than the main fabric okay so that it will not be showing at the bottom so I minus two inches from that so that's what I'm using for my lining for the length of my lining there I minus two inches from 20 inches so my lining is actually 18 inches okay 18 inches plus the nine inches earlier which is 27 inches so that's what i measured around 27 27 27 so that's what i measured around so i'm just cutting it out now So when cutting out this part, please be very careful. Cut on only the don't cut on the folded part, please. Just cut beside it. <coughs> so as you can see, one side is unfold. It's just one side we have um open. So when you open it up, you have we have a half circle. Like just like this. So that is what I'm going to be using for my lining. I'm just going to fold my lining and just cut out the exact same thing on the bodice. Okay. Just trying to place it properly. I'll just cut it out. Um, so I've gone ahead to cut out um, the back lining for the back as well. So I have two pieces for the back and a piece. 
un pot frontier de So before actually using the lining to turn the neckline, I'm going to be attaching an interfacing. That's a, a, a paper stay, the very the softest one to my neck line. It helps it relax very well after sewing. This really helps. Honestly, try it out, guys. So I've gone ahead to iron my paper stay on the neckline at the wrong side of the neckline. So I did the same thing for the back as well. So I'm just going to be placing the lining on my main fabric. Right side facing each other. And take to the sewing machine and sew. Sew it with half an inch. And after sewing, I'll flip it over. Then top stitch on the lining alone. I'll do the same thing at the back. Place it on each other like so. Right side facing each other and so with half an inch. I'm going ahead to sew the neckline with half an inch and, and ironed it down flat. So this is the inside of, um, then I flipped it over just top to top stitch on the lining alone. You can see that the stitch is showing on only the lining, is not actually showing on the right side of our fabric okay so i just separated it this way then i top stitch on the lining alone that was how i achieved this just top stitch on the lining alone so i've done the same thing to the back so what i'm going to do now i'm going to join in to be joining the shoulder together like so so look at what look closely please i'm just going to be picking the fabric to fabric you can see fabric to fabric lining to lining lining to lining i'm going to take it to the sewing machine to just stitch it down like so Do the same thing to the other side and i'll come back to show you guys now once i've done that i'll be having the two as a shoulders joining like this okay so once it's joined this way is joined this way i'll just stitch it from that point the side to the armhole to the armhole and to the other side as well i'll repeat the same thing for the other side so before stitching the sides i just brought it back to show you guys what i have there you can see how i stitch it right and lining to lining fabric to fabric you can see how neat it is inside and outside that is the effect it gives you so i'm just going to be flipping the clothes i'm just going to be flipping the lining inside so i can actually on the lining with the fabric because I want a neat finishing inside so right side facing I'm going to be taken to the sewing machine right now
just trying to lay it down flat and sew that side to the armhole round to the other side okay i'll do the same thing to this side as well even the zipper area as well i'll stitch it down as well and i'll turn everything inside out So I've stitched it out. I've stitched it down. So I brought it back here to show you guys how I'm going to be turning it inside out. So I'm going to be taking the front part because it's easier to flip the back inside through the shoulder because it's smaller. The back you know is two piece so it's easier to just flip that side inside as you can see what i'm doing right now put it inside the shoulder and bring it out there you have your front just trying to bring everything out nicely I'll be doing the same thing for the other side of the back. You know the back is two pieces, so I removed the other one and I'm also removing this one. <coughs> We're bringing it out neatly. You can see how neat it is, but I'm still going to be taking it with an ironing table to iron it down very flat. So this is what I have now. <coughs> After ironing down, I'm just going to be placing it on each other, right side facing. Then I'm going to be stitching with my two inches sewing allowance, which I left at the side. So I finished stitching that, and I I bought um, I've cut out the strap I'm going to be using for the gathers at the chest area. So my fabric wasn't long enough, so I had to cut two. I cut out four inches by, I think, 72 or so. So this is the net that is going to be placed underneath it. So the net is two inches longer than the Ankara fabric because it's going to be showing under the Ankara. So it's six inches in total. And I cut so many I'm just going to go to the sewing machine and join them together then gather it up gather it up as well with the um Ankara fabric and show you guys so i've gathered that together the Ankara and the net together okay so i've gathered it round i've also chopped the area which whereby the the net and the cara gathers is going to be on so that's when i chopped it i measured it that's what i used in um forming the length of my gathers so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be notching the middle point of the gathers and also the midpoint of our dress as in our chest so i'll follow that way i'll flip it this way and so it's when I get to the armhole area, area, I'm going to stop it. Then I'll take the other end and begin from the zipper area. 
so and when i saw it back to the ambulance, as well anything i have left that's what i'll be using for the cold shoulder area okay then i'll just finish that rough edge with a wire strip let me do that and show you guys so i've done that i've stitched it to the chest all the way to the back okay so this is what we have here so you can see how beautiful it's coming out i see the remaining i just left i just finished it with the bias strip so that's the remaining that formed the cold shoulder area so i'm just going to keep this aside and work on the down part of our dress so this is our lining this is our lining gone ahead to cut out net I'm going to add net I'm going to be putting underneath the lining so I cut it two inches shorter than the main lining as well okay so I'm just going to be joining it together to form a very long net so I want it to be as full as possible so that it will bring out the the bow of the dress in the dress so when i join it i'll gather it up to the same level as the waistline then i'll bring it back to show you guys so i've gone ahead to join to gather it around the waist of the lining okay and i've also gone ahead to gather my main fabric so I'm just going to be placing it underneath my main fabric okay the net will be touching my main fabric so that the net will not be touching the skin of the child okay the lining will be protecting the net from will be protecting the child's skin from touching the net so once I do that I will join it to the upper part of the dress and add my zipper that will be all so this is the finished look of our dress guys you can see how beautiful it is on our mannequin oh, guys subscribe to my channel okay if you've not subscribed join this beautiful family okay please like this video comment leave a comment in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye